Hello, I really like lists because I can go on to Twitter and put everybody into a list and just see the tweets from the people on that list. So for instance, if you wanted to have a list called financial services, which had different people on it than friends and family and things like that, you can create a list. I'm not going to show you how to create a list, but I do want to point out that you can go to anybody on Twitter and just type in slash lists after their username in the URL box and then you can see the list that they own, the ones that they're subscribed to, in other words, other people's lists and also the ones that you can see that they are a member of. What's really cool though is you can use Google search to find lists. What I do is I go to cse.google.com. It stands for custom search engine.google.com, cse.google.com and I click add And it says sites to search. Now here's the key. You type in twitter.com slash star because you don't know who has the list. You just know there's a list out there, at least one. And then slash and then the word lists with an S on the end. And then I'm going to call this list search, Twitter list search, and I click create. View it on the web, public URL. You can always get to it from cse.google.com. And then I type in here, FinSurf, and hit return. Get past the ads. And then we can see that Drew Niesner has a list called FinSurf SM Pros. And then Jay Powter lists fin influencers on FinSurf. Orlando TM lists FinServe 25 and so on and so forth. So this is using Google search to search Twitter for lists. There is another way if this ever breaks or isn't working for you, there is another way. It's a little tricky, but you put the term you want to search into Google search. You say twat, twat, <laughs> site, colon, twitter.com. And then in URL, colon, lists. And that tells Google to go to the site twitter.com. Inside the URL, there is the word lists and then find FinServe. And then when I hit return, it will come back um, where it can find FinServe. Now, one of the things though, that you'll notice is that it doesn't have to be a FinServe list. It can just be a list called financial, but somewhere on that list is the term FinServe. So the first way with custom search CSE is more precise, but there is a generic Google way as well. So that's how you search for lists on Twitter. If you don't want to go to each person that you know and click on the list and try and sort it out that way, it's awesome for finding influencers on Twitter. It's awesome for creating your own list so that you can just see the news in that industry and generally building a network and connecting with other like-minded souls. I hope you found that useful. I've got another lecture coming out on how to find and measure influencers, not just with Twitter, but across the board, all the tools that you can use. And I've also got a list of my courses coming out for 2020. And that's it. Thank you.